the Southeast Region Commander, we, we set this mission up as a region mission rather than a specific wing, just simply because of the size of it and the fact that we knew that it would take far more than just one wing to respond to something uh, this significant. Uh, and as the, as the Region Commander, uh, you know, I, I, I bear the responsibility of being the senior officer for, for the region. And, and as a result, it's, it's my responsibility to ensure the success of our response to this disaster. Change one frequency, one, two, one, point zero. That's it. Under one, two, one, that's high. Oh, well, let, let, me, uh, let me widen up for you, Randy. Let me uh, reorient. Initially, they were looking at all parts of the coastline just to get an overall view of everything that was going on and what the coastline looked like. Then as days progressed and the oil progressively got closer, then they started focusing on key areas such as inlets into the inland waterways, uh, openings where there may be pipelines or anything that could bring the water from outside in the bay area inside internally to the land area. It's amazing how it changes from day to day. One day the oil will be closer in towards shore and depending on the weather, the currents, the wind direction, the next day it may be almost clear. This is certainly different than missing aircraft search and rescue. It's also different than any other disaster relief mission I've ever been involved in. We've been told that this could last up to 120 to 180 days. It's certainly the biggest thing I've ever worked. Uh, uh, I, you know, I was not actively involved in the uh, in the response to Katrina, but my personal opinion is that is that if if this has not exceeded the effort for Katrina, it probably will before it's over with. And when he did that. We've gotten a lot of very positive feedback from the people that we've supplied uh, photos to. Uh, they've, they've been impressed with the product that we've delivered. They've been impre impressed with the professional uh, nature of all of our crews that are involved in it. Uh, I think sometimes I think they're very, they're very surprised that we're all doing this as volunteers. It feels just like it has on every other mission I've ever been on for, for CAP, particularly disaster relief. It's wonderful. It's a team a large team pulling together, getting the job done, the things that people who've not done this expect to see, the turf wars, the infighting are, are not there. It's, it's a wonderful experience.